My name is Alistair. I'm a very keen cyclist over many years. I cycle in the summer, I cycle in the winter, and sometimes I prefer to ride or train indoors out of the rain and cold in the Scottish winter. Large displays on any training system is essential. Small displays just will not hack it for me. They lack what is called immersibility. If you are having problems with reliability of the system, that's the Kinemap system, then presumably that's why you're watching this video. I have had discussions with Kinemap support, but apparently I am the only user with problems to such an extent that make the app unusable. This is the Skinemap system as I understand it and a large display is connected as recommended by the manufacturer Chromecast to the tablet smartphone. I have created for Kinemap high quality videos of some of the, the famous cycling hill climbs of Scotland. I thought I would share with you a proposed means of improving the Kinemap system at minimal cost. The problems appear to be multifaceted and without a sophisticated testing lab, I cannot apportion blame to any particular part or parts of the system. The system being a combination of Kinemap app, a tablet or smartphone, Wi-Fi, an ANT plus communication system, and an interactive trainer. A lot that can go wrong. The symptoms I have experienced are as follows. The Kinemap app and Chromecast display disconnect without warning. The Kinemap app continues to run, but you lose the large display. This requires a hardware reset of the tablet phone to get back to a working system. A time-consuming and frustrating business, I assure you. Number two, the video displayed on Chromecast is sometimes displayed relative to Kinemap with a jitter and a blocky appearance. This is likely associated with my Wi-Fi system in my domestic environment. But again, without running tests, I am not certain. The Kinemap app sometimes fails to remain connected to the primary equipment. It will disappear mid-training session and it terminates the running session. The Kinemap video fails to start. This hangs up the tablet. I have a video segment of that failure. I cannot show you video of most of the problems I've, as I've described. As by nature, they are unpredictable and, there's, and the result is in the uncertainty of being able to com complete a training session. A means of improving the reliability of the system is urgently required if I am to regain some value out of the hours I have taken to film my favourite rides. The answer to a lot of these problems appears to be to do away with the Wi-Fi and replace it with cabled connections to both the tablet phone and the Chromecast display adapter. My measured Ethernet performance is 70 megabits a second download and 5 megabits per second upload. This is always going to outperform the Wi-Fi and be subject to less noise and interference and hopefully reliability issues. I would replace the ANT Plus connection to the trainer with a wired interface, but that is not possible today as I've got a Tax Neo and they don't support a wired interface. Ideally, I would like an Ethernet socket on the side of my Tax Neo. The result so far that this is the first time I've been able to start using Kinema as it was intended. Thank you very much for watching my video.
we're going to try the faulty condition 